Hi guys, uh, in this experiment, we're gonna see about the load test on a DC compound generator. So, the circuit diagram is this one. Um, the nameplate details for motor is shown here, and for a generator it is shown here. Okay, uh, before moving to the procedure, the precautions. We should take care is that the fuse is selected um, in such a way that it is it has a 120% of the rated current of DC shunt motor. The field rheostat of the motor uh, should be kept at maximum resistance position at the time of starting and the field rheostat of a generator should be kept at a minimum resistance position at starting. The DPSC switch 2 is should be kept open during build up of voltage across the generator armature. So the procedure for this experiment is, will be the DPSC switch 1 is closed and the motor is started using the 3 point starter. The field rheostat of the motor is adjusted to get the rated speed of the motor. The field rheostat of the generator is adjusted to get the rated voltage in that voltmeter. The DPSG switch 2 is closed. Then the rear static load is applied. The same procedure is repeated up to the rated current is obtained. And finally the readings are tabulated in the tabular column. Okay, for a differentially compound uh, test, uh, I have taken a field current, load voltage, load current, and then uh, IA is equal to IL plus IF and EG, and finally the generated back uh, EMF will be EG is equal to VL plus I into RA plus RSC. RA and RSC we will find using uh, the multimeter. Uh, we have completed the differentially compound and for a uh, cumulative compound test uh, the circuit diagram is this one and the procedure will be same uh, so the tabulation column will be uh, the armature resistance will be same you can see the armature resistance will be same RA and RC and the Tabular column will be field current, load voltage, load current, and then uh, IA is equal to IL plus IF, and EG is equal to VL plus IA into RA plus RSC. So, uh, with this two tabular column, we should draw a graph. The graph will be look like this one. So, the load characteristics graph will be drawn between. Uh, um, voltage in uh, y axis and the uh, current il in x axis okay uh, for the load characteristics for the load characteristics curve uh, i have taken in x axis uh, sorry in y axis uh, voltage and in uh, x axis uh, il so the graph will be uh, look like this uh, cumulatively compound and differentially compound with this graph, the experiment is over. Uh, you can uh, just take a screenshot or uh, just view the cosines for a uh, viva. Thanks for watching this video.